But there is a hack attack that gives the bad guys your information mm -hmm. and it does not need you to open a suspicious site to work. So we bring in Dr. Chris Pearson, CEO of Black Cloak, a cybersecurity company. He joins us live. Thank you for being here. First off, what is a zero click attack and how does it work? So zero click attack is something where uh, an adversary, either a cyber criminal or a nation state actor will go ahead and send some type of communication, some type of command to your device. It could be a phone, for example, and it requires no interaction whatsoever on your part to go ahead and compromise the device. This usually means that the device has not been patched, has not been updated, that there's some type of zero day, uh, some issue without a solution on your phone, on your software, on your device, and that allows the bad guys literally access to the entire device. So once again, requires no interaction from you. You don't have to click on a message. You don't have to open up an SMS code or a text or do something. It just automatically happens as a result of your device. Now that is a mm -hmm. scary thought. Now, do these attacks happen to just regular Joe Schmoes like us, or is this somebody who would be incredibly high profile? Could it happen to anyone? Yeah. Well, that's the good news is that these attacks, zero click attacks, they are mostly being used right now by nation states, by intelligence services, where they are targeting specific individuals, targeting high profile journalists, targeting other government officials and other folks from other countries, or targeting high profile, sometimes high net worth individuals. But it is a very, very individualized attack right now. Now, this is something where it could go more mainstream to other cybercrime groups, but it really has not as of yet. There are some prevention steps, right? Can you walk us through some of those? What we should do is first off with our apps. So really quickly, I mean, it doesn't matter what device you have, but let's just say that you have an iPhone. The first thing is to make sure that the actual device is updated. And you can do that just by going to settings and going to about. And if your device right now is not running 15.4.1, so the latest software, your device could be vulnerable. Actually, Apple literally just last Thursday pushed out new patches, new updates for two different zero days, two different attacks without a solution. Now, of course, there is a solution. So make sure your devices are up to date. The second part of that is make sure the apps on the devices are up to date. And once again, whether you're on an Android platform, uh, platform an Apple platform, you can go ahead and update those apps and you should do it regularly so that they are not a vulnerable point of ingress into your device. Oh my goodness, it's so important for us to really pay attention to this right now. Are these easy things it sounds like for everybody to do? I mean, it just seems like th this is something we could do, but what about like extension block pop-up, spam? That seems a little more difficult for us to try to figure out. Yeah, I mean, updates, once again, as you point out, incredibly easy and something that we should just bake into our every every day, every week behavior, so to speak. In terms of other areas, you're going to want to make sure that you have antivirus software running on your devices, your cell phone, tablet, your computer. You're going to want to make sure that you're hardening the human, right? So making sure you don't interact or respond to those text messages or other emails that have attachments or links. And most importantly, to protect the accounts that are running on your device, right? Your bank account, your social media account, your email account. You're going to want to make sure that every single one of those accounts has dual factor authentication set up. So when you log in, username and password, but then some type of a code gets texted to you, or you have an authenticator app, or you have a physical token. They're kind of three different mm -hmm. levels of, of progress there, but just pick one of them. That'll get you into the plus 90% uh, Mark, in terms of being cyber safe and secure on those accounts. Dr. Chris Pearson with Black Cloak, thank you for this valuable information. Now we need to all take action and do what you suggested so we don't have drama. Thank you for that.